Hello, good morning. I am Cheryl T. Amogues and my topic is all about the continuation of emergent literacy. So how do young children develop emergent literacy, knowledge, skills, and disposition? So over the past few years, I know many researchers going back and forth on how fundamentally means by which emergent literacy develop in a young children. So we all know the man and both home and classroom environment influence on how to develop an emergent literacy. So, ngunit, natural nga ba nga umuunlad ang emergent ng hindi tulad sa oral language na hindi nangangailangan ng formal na pagtuturo? O ang literacy ba ay isang hanay ng mga kasanayan na dapat ituro sa discarding pagtuturo? So, it is generally agreed that reading and writing are not learned in fundamentally the same way as our language, so, diba? which has an intimate component that triggers its learning. So, studies ko know that early readers or children learn to read and write before going to school, school clearly show that the parents taught them in home. So, because sometimes kasi ang teachers ask a parents if they, if ang child, they teach them at home. But then, the parents said they did not teach them how to read and write. So if no one taught the children, didn't they learn how to read and write naturally? Or how do we reconcile these apparent differences? So two things are important for educators to keep with respect to the issue of early literacy sa learning. So first is pareho ko nung may malaking influence ang kapaligiran sa at tahanan at sila uh, aralan sa lumilitaw na kaalaman, kasanayan at disposisyon ng mga bata sa literacy. Second is the instruction o ang pagtuturo na nagpromote sa emergent literacy learning and manifest itself in a variety of ways. So both learning and a part sa bata and teaching and a part sa parents. So gayon pa na, gayon pa man ang pagtuturo na nangyari sa tahanan ay mukhang hindi katulad ng karamihang iniisip natin bilang isang pagtuturo sa school o oo maiila na maaring tawag ng direktang pagtuturo sa tahanan ngunit karamihan talaga ng pagtuturo ay nangyari bilang isang aspeto ng panipunang interaction sa pagitan ng magulang at anak sa typical na tahanan ng komunidad. So in other words, ang bata is most often learning from the instruction that is situated sa context of a goal directed sa mga activities such as mga activities sa shopping or cooking or taking apart sa mga religious ceremony or or mo sila kahimungan ng mga notes yan ay yan ibutang sa refrigerator or mag-send ng mga inang email sa ila lolo o lola so as a part of his or her social dramatic play so within this I vast array of the settings sa parents na ho create rich home literacy environment or model scenario literacy do things sa ilabat sa children to help them understood or produce a written language that is a part of the activity and also to make sure that, that the environment has an array of literacy materials ng bata can explore on their own. So by being engaged sa mga activities that have literacies involved or embedded in them and in which the reading and writing are played out in a social interaction between sa bata and sa more experienced literate person. So the child is most of able to participate in the activity itself and thereby develop personal competencies in reading and writing. So this process in which ang bata or a young children develop emergent, lit emergent literacy, knowledge and skills and disposition has an important implication. So my attendant conclusion on Nama John from something that ha on how we should conceptualize the idea that something understand fully the environment and the instructional activities na employ in school classroom. So next is 
what are the effect, effective approaches for emergent literacy instruction. So, LEAD 21 has based its approach to literacy instruction in kindergarten and in early first grade on, a, on the findings of the research discussed in the previous two sections and on research-based description of a quality emergent liter literacy instruction. So, for example, is sa mga approach is i-introduce ang bata to a books or reading a book together at the early age so in ana siya nakakontribute na daan siya ng interest sa reading and writing also expose mo siya sa mga exposure sa logos signs and letters and words so it leads na to the knowledge na ang symbols have meaning so laong panganay ni Laura Bush is a love of book or holding a book turning its pages looking at a picture and living its fascinating fascinating stories goes hand in hand or papunta na siya sa love of learning so now we proceed in the principles of practice so first is literacy is experienced as a part of the everyday life and activities of the classroom so when ang bata live in a context where literacy is karaniwang ginagamit upang makatulong na magawa ang iba't ibang uri ng mga bagay, sila ay nagiging karunungang bumasa at sumulat. So they grow into literacy. In this way, reading and writing become inherently interesting. It is because of the information, the sense of wonder, and the communicative opportunities they unlock for children. So, LEAD 21 offers writing instruction to serve a variety of age-appropriate tasks from kindergarten through grade 2. So, for example, ang bata magswat siya ng list of it, mga classroom rules, rules, uh, rules for the group, or personal narrative, or with reports, or mga notes, so as well as the various type of message including email. So next is the teacher view the child learners in the classroom as active constructors of their own literacy, knowledge, and strategies. So ang teacher always leaves spaces in all na, sa mga lesson na she holds with the children. It is because she recognized na ang bata or young, emer young children emer emerging literacy learning is that certainly about sa memorizing the or copying. It is about children making the knowledge and skills on their own. So in addition, the differentiated readers allow all students the opportunity to own the reading experience by giving a student unique information to share with the larger class group. Each child has something special to share since each small group reads a different selection. Different developmental paths into literacy learning are supported. So, research on both emergent reading and emergent writing development kumbaga, indicate that there is no single developmental progression that all young children go through in becoming literate. So, LEAD 21 provide a range of instructional and assessment activities in order to accommodate the variety of bad children of different abilities, cultures, and language background take in becoming able to read and write conventionally. So the program offers for reading groups, so the intensive, strategic, benchmark, and advanced. So sa pamamaraan ito, lahat ng mag-aaral ay may access sa parihong mga kasanayan sa pagbasa nakasulat sa kanilang antas upang basahin sa maliliit na grupo ngunit ibinabahagi sa mga setting ng buong klase. So, ang estrukturang ito ay nagbibigay sa bawat student ng pagkakataong makapag-ambag ng makabuluhan sa mga talakaya ng buong pangkat. To help students move to the next level, scalp folding option is sa gabay ng guro na nakalink sa aralin. 
ito ay nagbibigay sa mga guro ng paraan upang patuloy na matugunan ang mga pangangailangan ng mga student at upang mapadali silang makagalaw sa mga antas ng literacy. So next is the curriculum offer integrated language art experiences. So substantial evidence suggests that listening, speaking, reading, and writing are learned kuno interrelatedly rather than sequentially by young children. So Lead 21 provides learning teaching experience in all of the language art simultaneously rather than the first concentrating, concentrating on the oral language and then on reading and finally on writing. So, word study work is fully incorporated into grade 1 and 2 and spelling began, begins in grade 1 writing and language art. Kumbaga, it is a daily lesson throughout the primary grades and includes instruction on grammar and usage so that's all for my task thank you